famous doll in Baku was stolen from a temple by the owner of the sake bar and restaurant. He believes the doll will keep failing business and bring more customers. Oh, will help his failing business. Shortly after bringing the doll to the restaurant, strange and horrifying events begin to occur. Haku is forced to temporarily close the restaurant. Then finds you Minato, a young student with his interest in mysteries and paranormal. Haku tells you that he'll pay you if you can solve the mystery and calm the spirit of the doll down. Head out one evening on your scooter. Begin your investigation. Look at that sky. It's a weird sky. A weird sky. Find front door spare key to enter the Saki Bar and Restaurant. And it's all dark and shit. So unity. Unity enough. Oh, that's the big question. It might not be unity enough. Going to Benny Hanna's boys. Hell yeah. So it was going under a table different than. Okay, so now I'm hiding versus just being there. It probably is different then, right? Yeah. <laughs> Should I investigate the area and information I can find on the the Keikaku? Bitch. So I'm I'm seeking, right? I assume so. Eventually it'll be its turn. <laughs> that is a default Unity sound. I've heard that so many times. really funny. You see, it was, it's pretty funny. It made me long. I've taken the spine surgery. I can care lift up my son again. He is an asshole. Come here, you little fuck! <laughs> like the recording of like garbled a garbled voice.
Hmm. What is it? Feeling I'm gonna die if I don't find it fast enough. What about uh, like to the like in the these two tables? Like in them? Like on the far bench or something? No. Hmm. Have you checked your butthole? Can you open any other doors in here? There was one back in the like merchandise area in the corner, and one back here. Bar area key. Merchandise area is like back right. Right there? Yeah. Okay. And like past the little shrine or whatever there. There you are, you little shit. Whoa! Whoa there! What do I do? Bring the lights back on. How? Where? God. Try using a fucking light switch, my dude. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. It's so close to me. Oh god. <laughs> Ask him. Wow. Do you think you can yeah. do this? I I don't think I'm I'm a gamer enough. Are you gamer enough to play Okiku? <laughs> What's the best thing about this couch and this whole new setup? We can finally show our feet. Oh yeah. Like the world was demand oh money. Nah. <gasps> That's it. <laughs> oh if only Schleg was here. Yeah. <laughs> so we should also seek out the light switches. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because I had no idea where they were. So. Don't press the Ginjo button. You die. Oh, hell yeah. I have no idea how the hell you turn the lights on.
All right. Can you read it? Uh, yeah, I'm trying. I'm just. A young man purchased a doll that would later on claim the name Okiku as her own for his two year old sister. The doll was bought in Sapporo by a 17 year old and his two year old sister Okiku. He was touring the region on a, for a maritime exp. exp oh, sorry, it's, it's far away. Yeah. And the doll instantly drew his eyes. The perfect little thing sat on the shop window enticing him, but he didn't think twice. He went in and instantly purchased the figure for his sister. He even used the last of his money for it. And about 40 centimeters tall and dressed in a traditional kimono, the doll was exquisite. His hair was raven black and cut to thoroughly, sh uh, rough, <laughs> roughly shoulder length. In a, uh, shit. In a traditional Okapa hairstyle, the ears are like piercing. The eyes are like piercing coals that seem to swallow everything in their gaze. The doll was answer, uh, mesmerizing, enchanting, something that took your breath away. He went back home and gave the doll to his little sister. Um, shit. I lost it. I lost where I was. Fuck. Uh, she would talk, prattle with the thing, feed it, sleep with it. She decided to call the doll Okiku, a mere duplicate of herself. The doll never left Okiku's sight. Okay. And then, like, she she died, and then the doll, uh, like, ate a soul, or is her ghost. Well, I'd imagine. Or whatever. You know how it goes. Picture from Haku and Yui's trip. To Japan. To the most glorious island nation of Nippon. You're a freaking doll over here, okay? Eh? I still have no idea how to turn the lights on. Yeah. Ten exquisite rules to follow in Japanese restaurants. No shoes on the tatami. Rest chopsticks on the holder, wrapper, or on the side of a tray. Do not mix wasabi into your soy sauce. Don't place half-eaten food back on your plate. Use the, the pickled ginger as a palate cleanser. Place chopsticks parallel to the plate at the end of your meal. Fill guest glasses before your own. Uh, slurping is a compliment. Never use your hand to catch falling food. Don't hover over or leave food when you've touched it. Uh, with your chopsticks, sorry. It was it was going like off the page and I thought it was done. Oh yeah. Uh, to all employees, if you're customers and we follow these rules, sake bar and restaurant shall have great success. Haku, the owner of the sake bar. <laughs> Incredible. I love how just like washed out it is. Yeah. Like the actual paper. So I think I saw something on these little uh Oh, these get they didn't place it parallel to their dish. Oh that's a problem. <laughs> so, uh, check. You see those little wooden posts? Yeah, these? Yeah, I thought I might have seen something that stood out on, like, that one. Nope, never mind. I have no fucking idea how to turn lights on in this. I'll look it up, though. Yeah. <laughs>
for how clean everything else is, it's really clean the toilet. Yeah. Here, I would imagine it could. Oh, oh, sweet. Oh, okay. Oh, no, not the buff, uh, <laughs> buff imposter. What the hey, fuck was that? Hate a buff imposter. I guess it was the buff imposter. A demon? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Got to avoid Okiku now. Yeah. What the hell was that big thing? I have no idea. Are we to save? Yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of funny. It is a bit funny. <laughs> Shit. You made the slip when you tried to match the ring. Uh... Whoa, Whoa what? No 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 Okay. Buddha, save me. Buddha? Buddha, would you? What the fuck is going on over there? Hey, would you chill out? Would you calm down? Okay. not a great part of this game either. Yeah. This part could have been way shorter. I saw it back there. Uh, yeah. Oop, oop, oop. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. When he tried to make a slip, when he tried to match the ranger with a big iron on his hip. Big iron on, on his hip. <laughs> this is a song about taking a shit. <clears throat> this is a song about touching it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that laughing sounds so shitty. Yeah. Hey, dude. Wow. Oh, that's what that is. That's not a buff among us. That's a unity asset of scary Japanese ghost. Oh no, she saw me. Fucking piece of shit. Stupid fucking ghost. You absolute nightmare beast. Cool. <sighs> I think you heal, right? I hope so. It seemed like you did. But she's just camping now. Yeah, quit puppy guarding. 
That's against the rules. You're not supposed to puppy guard the door. You fuck. Looks like when you get into your car in the winter. Oh, yeah. Look at that Call of Duty Raspberry Jam shit. Yeah. Shit, that seems to stay. Fuck. <laughs> so we're just gonna try the tried and tested method of fucking I'm running just for it. Going in there. Okay, now I'm locked in. So, oh, that guy defeated a red oni in the darkness while he was on narcotics. Yeah. After having been drugged by his mentor. Yep. That'll happen time, not every, every, every time and time again. You see it. You, you always see it. You, you always try to win. Get one. Seven, one. Three. Seven, one, three. What does that mean? Um, I pressed... Yeah. I pressed those numbers on the, uh... Keyboard. No! Oh, fuck! <laughs> <sighs> this has been... <laughs> this has been Okiku. 